Hi there, and welcome to Nash Rocket Media. This is the Shehem Podcast. You know that, where Shehemachus, the Greek god of chariot insurance, there really is such a thing, embodies our very own human emoji, Arshay Seaver, and renders the complicated understandable and makes us all feel kind of tingly and Christmassy inside. He is, after all, the antidote to mayhem. Shayhem. How are you, sir? <laughs> I'm doing better than good. Yourself? Episode 31. It is. It is. That's a lot of you yakking, <laughs> my friend. A lot. It's the final episode of the year, the final week of the year, and we have some appropriate questions to go out on. Let's just start with the obvious one. How was your 2020 year, and are you glad it's over, or are you just one of those people that loves conflict? <laughs> um. 2020 for me uh, was kind of awkward in the in the beginning kind of like trying to make change kind of with my education background to kind of help in the beginning uh you're kind of it's either i want to say do or die but i i made some it made me make some changes to keep my sanity you know trying to you know planet fitness closed down i'm used to going working out there and it closed down for a while so i had to hit the the pavement and start oh. running to get the cardio and then all of a sudden i had two shin splints after two weeks of doing that. But uh, 2020 for me was definitely, it's been, it's been challenging, but uh, it's been a learning experience. I've got rid of some old habits, got some new habits, some uh, all in all it's been a learning experience uh, for me, 2020. I'm glad it's, you know, over as far as 2020 goes. Um, if you could describe 2020 in one word, what would that word be? Revelation been a revelation for sure if you could describe it in two words what would it be that's easy born again and the reason why i say that was because back to 2020 when all this began uh in march or so hitting the pavements and running uh those two songs are act those are two songs actually by third day revelation and born again and i heard those two songs in the beginning of all this pandemic. And I recently just heard those same two songs again last week. So I don't know, I guess for me, my pandemic is, is ending. I'm, I'm assuming. Um, so revelation and born again, those, those, those two. Dear Shaham, what would you change about yourself if you could? Um, I would like more hair. I, you know, I like that option to, I come across a picture where I used to, I had like the wings, you know, I used to do like this and the hair <laughs> flow over. So that was a long, that was a long time ago. So uh, either that, or I would like to be fluent in another foreign language. What makes you laugh <laughs> the most? Be myself and I, that's what I do. Sometimes I say things, do things. And then I look back. I can't believe I just said that. I can't believe I just, just did that. But outside of that, I, I watch comedy um, you make me laugh. Some you make me laugh. Hopefully, I make make you laugh at my own own expense. Um, but comedy, I just binged yesterday on Shit's Creek. Can I say Shit's Creek? I watched mm -hmm. season one. I'm like I'm on the twelfth or thirteenth episode. That literally kept me laughing just back to back to back. That that show on Netflix is pretty good. Uh, do we do we owe or need any explanation about the bandage on your face? Did you have to fight your way out of a bar with a broken Budweiser bottle or anything like that? The excuse I'm going to give you, we started this whole ordeal in the photo shoot. I was wearing the Band-Aid, mm -hmm. and we're going to end it on the podcast wearing a Band-Aid. But okay. the real reason, I got a boo-boo. I'm covering up a boo-boo. <laughs> a boo-boo. Hey, boo-boo. Hey, <laughs> nice. that's the truth to be honest okay 2021 is uh, right here in a minute you have any uh new year's resolutions i personally do not 
technically like do a new year's resolution i kind of try to start before the new year so if i'm if i'm deciding i want to do something and establish that into the next year i kind of go ahead and start it before the end of the current year to transition into the new year i more or less just wish everybody you know wealth health happy success peace uh for them and then kind of just try to add on to something so I've done a lot of changes. I've lost some weight, uh, made some other positive changes and just going to keep that trend fasting, intermittent fasting, um, you know, reading, just working on myself and, and looking at things differently than, than what I looked at before. So I just want to keep on that and just going to the next level with, with all that. Well, there he is, boys, and girls, his very last appearance in 2020, I think. <laughs> right. <laughs> You never know. And not a minute too soon. I would like to take the opportunity on behalf of Nash Rocket Media to thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And most of all, thank you for your questions. Because if we didn't have your questions, he, Shahim, wouldn't have a purpose in life. Because as we have learned from this year, if nothing else, Shahim is the answer man. It's been great. Despite the horrible year, Shahim, I love it. And I look forward to a prosperous new year with you. And thank yes. you all for listening. And I wish you a very happy new year. It's a better than good day with Shay. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to give us a call at 615-896-SAVE at 615-896-7283. Thank you for watching and wish you wealth, health, success, happiness, peace, love, and a very happy new year from Shay.